Hi, my name is Hanny Mora. I'm the TIMS Product Development Manager here at Trimble. I'm going to spend a few minutes showing you how you visualize the indoor data collected by the TIMS on an online service called the Trimble Connected Community. Now, to access the Trimble Connected Community, or TCC, all you need is a web browser. Once you log in, you get a base map of the area that you're in. In this case, we're in Toronto. And you have markers showing you where, the, where you have indoor data. If I start off by zooming in on the bottom left here, as I zoom in, this is the Toronto Airport, the Terminal 3. As I zoom in, you start to see a floor plan, a two-dimensional floor plan overlaid over the map. So I'm going to turn off all the other layers temporarily and just show you the Canada Customs area in Terminal 3. So once, we, once we're zoomed into a level we like, we can click on the floor plan and a image shows up which shows you a 360 degree view top to bottom of the area. Then I can simply pan around the map, click on another area, and again I get a 360 degree view of that area. I also have the option with my mouse if I want to zoom in, zoom out. So it's a great way to visualize what's happening inside that area. If I turn off the Canada Customs and I turn on the departures, uh, pardon me, I turn on the departures, I can click and visualize what's happening in the departures area. And I can pan across the map again, zoom out a little bit just to speed this up. And zoom in uh, to this part of the building, for example, and find out what's happening. Okay, now we checked out the airport. Now we want to jump across the city to the Aplanix building. So I can quickly do that by turning on just the Aplanix layer, and I can center my map on the Aplanix layer. So the Aplanix building is. Um, in you know, other part of Toronto and as we zoom in here you get to see a floor plan overlaid over the building so we can jump right into someone's office pan around have a look and you, you also have enough detail to look at what's happening inside someone's cubicle And that's it. This is just a simple way to visualize indoor data without any without the need of any complicated software.